Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup of this phone. Now before I actually get started with the process itself, I will mention uh, something that you might be some people um, will concern some people. So this device has already been set up, it's not brand new out of the box. And the reason why this matters is because for the people that are just setting it up alone but has have literally just unboxed it, I will be forced to number one, connect to Wi-Fi, number two, reboot the device for no reason. So those are two things. And number three, uh, the setup will take significantly longer for no reason. So uh, I will point out the um, subtle differences throughout the process where where you might expect that uh, the difference. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about all the things that you can expect. So anyway, let's get started. So number one, you should be presented with the screen right up here, right when you reboot. And all you need to do is select your desired language on the next page. So I'm going to se select English, obviously. And this moves me to connect to mobile network by inserting a SIM card. Now you can do so if you want to, or you can completely disregard it. Now keep in mind for everybody who is setting up this device as a brand new one, um, you have choice to either connect to mobile network through SIM card or through Wi-Fi. You have to choose one if this device is completely brand new and never been set up before. But luckily, I can just skip it. Now, before it moves me to Wi-Fi, it also gives me uh, a couple of things to review, uh, more precisely, uh, user license agreement, because why wouldn't I be able to agree to something? Um, and then this moves me to the next page, which is permissions from Samsung apps and services. Now, truth be told, you can disable all of them, and whenever you open up an app that actually requires it, um, you can then get the pop-up, Oh, well, not then, but you will get the pop-up and you can, for instance, decide if that application should have access to whatever it wants. Now, obviously, a phone will want access to your contacts and stuff like that, which is just a given. Uh, and a couple apps will want access to some other things, like photos will want access to storage, and so on. Uh, if you choose to disable all of them, uh, instead of just being able to open up that app and easily easily starting to snap photos right away, uh, it will give you a pop-up that it needs access to it and you need to grant it. That is something that you can do. Um, and additionally, if some app wants access to something that you don't feel comfortable, that the app should have access to, uh, you can just look for an alternative in this case. Um, personally, I'm gonna disregard this. Um, I'm gonna set up anything here. So I'm just gonna go to the next page, which like I mentioned is the Wi-Fi page. So. For everybody uh, that has a brand new device, you will need to connect the, to Wi-Fi. You won't have the skip option like I do. Uh, and by basically connecting to it, it will start looking for updates, which will uh, well, which will start to do well, look for updates, which will take a significant portion of time. And additionally, like I mentioned, the device needs to reboot. I believe it reboots after you choose a region, which I have already done. So, uh, so I, I'm kind of late with that info. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna skip this, which automatically skips the checking for updates and all that crap, which takes like five minutes at least, and moves me straight to the next page, which is copy apps and data, which allows me to move over my old data from an old device to this one using uh, Samsung's proprietary application and that can be downloaded through Play Store on any other device, or I believe also App Store for uh, for iPhone users. Now, assuming you're connected to Wi-Fi or mobile data, you will not see this page uh, with date and time because date and time will be set automatically. Now, I chose to skip both of those and that is the reason why I have this page. Uh, phone has no connection to internet, so it doesn't know what time it is, so I'll, I can fix it up right here. But still, I'm planning to reset it shortly after anyway, so I'm just gonna disregard it and go to the next page, which is Google Services. So we have location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Quickly going into all three of those, uh, location is just GPS tracking for apps like, as an example, Google Maps to give you an accurate uh, route to your destination based on where you are located right now. Then we have allow scanning, which allows the device to look for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth signals. And below that we have uh, send user and diagnostic data, which allows Google to spy on you. I think I will say no thanks to that one. Then on the next page, 
we have Protect Your Phone, which allows you to set up some kind of protection, that'd be then pattern password and obviously a couple additional ways like uh, face recognition and fingerprint. If you're planning to use fingerprint or face recognition, maybe both, uh, you are always required to set up some kind of physical way of unlocking the device, so if something happens to your face or your finger, you have still another way to access your phone. That'd be through pin, pattern, or password. You can only choose one. Which I will select pattern right here. Now when selecting your uh, screen lock, you'll put it in, and you press next, and you repeat it, and this will set up that screen lock. And this brings us to Samsung account. And even though we're not logged into Wi-Fi, for some reason it gives us the option to log into it, which uh, by trying to do so, I believe it backtracks us to Wi-Fi connection page just because we need internet to actually connect to this, which inclusion of this page is absolutely stupid. Now, additionally, um, for everybody who doesn't really care about, uh, what is it like, uh, the secure folder feature, I, there is not a much incentive to actually add your Samsung account. The only the only other reason what, which I would probably think so think of is for protecting your phone. If you choose to add Samsung account, that is one of the things that cannot be bypassed. Uh, like for instance, Google account can. So when the device gets stolen and for instance reset it, uh, you can bypass Google account for the most part. Although I haven't found ways of doing it on this phone just yet. Uh, but Samsung account is uh, another thing which uh, is not very bypassable. So that is, uh, I would say, only reason which is security purposes or just whoever stole your phone will have a harder time to actually use it. Or maybe get rid of it. So that is the only reason. Now when you try to skip it, it gives you this uh, skip on all, all this uh, and like I mentioned, uh, the only reason which I, I consider uh, this to be a good thing is not even listed here. Uh, what is listed here is uh, every trash that is uh, substituted uh, and came out after uh, Google made it. So all of these are basically plagiarized uh, from Google. So we have Samsung Cloud, Google Cloud, Bixby, Hey Google, uh, Galaxy Teams, Play Store, uh, Find My Mobile, Find My Device, Samsung Pass, Google Passwords, Galaxy Store, again, Samsung, uh, not Gal uh, not, what am I trying to say? Uh, Galaxy Store has an alternative of Play Store and Secure Folder, which, like I mentioned, might be the only thing that is uh, unique here. Though some Google phones do have some ways of protecting your folder if you want to do so. So there we go. Basically, everything here has a better alternative from a uh, more reputable place like Google, which this phone is literally running making this obsolete. And once you decide to disregard this or log into it, whichever one you want, uh, it will give you the pop-up right here that you are all set. So let's select finish and then start loading apps, I think, because, oh no, okay, it loads straight to home screen. So there we go. As you can see, that is our device being fully set up. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.